In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I use sidechain enveloping to go from a nasty clash like this to a lovely blend like this. I used to think I wanted key transients to sit above other parts in my mix. Nowadays, I'm more about making space for transients. The tightest way I've found to do this is using the Envelope Shaper plugin that comes with Cubase, but as long as you get the concept, you can adopt this strategy using any door. I've made a short sketch, and the problem with it is that the kick drum sometimes plays at the same time as the boomy sub bass, causing a farty clash of bass frequencies. EQing either sound would be a compromise, and sidechain compression would be too sloppy. Check out the article in the magazine for my explanation as to why this is. Instead, place an envelope shaper on the bass, and send the kick drum to its sidechain input. Don't worry about the numbers, it's all about headroom and transparency. The envelope shaper manipulates the signal whenever the kick strikes. So to start, use it to cut the level of the baseline as much as possible, freeing up the maximum headroom. So start with the attack volume all the way down, that's minus 20 dB, and the attack length all the way up, that's 200 milliseconds. In this case, as usual, the results are spot on. Envelope Shaper cuts the bass line cleanly and precisely every time the kick transient plays. And the resulting mix feels totally natural, as if there'd never been a clash to begin with. For the record, when dealing with sounds in higher frequency ranges, it can be useful to shorten the attack length for transparency. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.